Is science technology always good to us and to the environment? Of course, the transport system in Hong Kong is safe, reliable, and efficient. The MTL Corporation Limited, the City Bus, the New World Bus, the Kowloon Motor Bus, and ferries are the most common transport companies. The transport system represents only parts of science technologies in Hong Kong. The Internet, Radio Television Hong Kong, TVB, and Digital TV are also important parts of it. We may make use of them easily. Also, we have many useful tools and machines, such as air conditioners and fridge. They help us a lot in our daily life. However, some technological developments may indeed have negative impacts on the environment. For example, we have great dependence on using electricity. Power plants on Lama Island and factories in Kun Tong are releasing lots of poisonous gas or dirty air, such as nitrogen dioxide, sulfur dioxide, ozone, carbon monoxide, and respirable. The government has pointed its finger at the electricity companies, while the electricity companies blames the industries in the Pearl Delta. However. Please do not overlook the pollution emitted by the 600,000 vehicles running on our roads and the concentrated high-rise buildings that do so well to create heat island effect by trapping the bad air. It is always easy to blame somebody, but difficult to engage in introspection. Some hard facts may help us to do so. In the past 15 years, we have a 20% increase of population, but the amount of electricity we consumed has been disproportionately risen by 80%. After all, we are all electricity big spenders and the ones to be blamed for our own bad air. Factories dump lots of waste products into the sea, also, the harbor. Reclamation has polluted the Victoria Harbour seriously and destroyed the habitat of many sea creatures. This is horrible. Will this world be destroyed? Will we all die? Don't worry, sea boy. We still have time. There are a few simple things that we can do. We can take long strides towards reducing pollution in just a few small steps. The easiest is to reduce our dependence on private cars, taking public transport as far as possible. If we do have to drive ourselves, remember that a well-tuned car pollutes less, and that we do not need to leave the engine running when we are waiting to pick up someone else. Our role in improving water quality in Hong Kong is very important. On a practical level, we can reduce our overall water consumption in showers and clothes, washing to reduce the amount of wastewater. For example, we wash plenty amount of clothes once in order to reduce the use of water. We can also report any pollution incidents to the Environmental Protection Department, so action can be taken to minimize possible damage to water quality and the environment. Water Supplies Department strives to ensure the adequacy and safety of the drinking water supply in Hong Kong. The Environmental Protection Department also works hard to improve the beach river and marine water quality, which has resulted in an increase in the number of clean beaches and a decrease in the number of polluted rivers over recent years. The implementation of Harbour Area Treatment Scheme has also significantly reduced key pollutants. We can use reclaimed water. Reclaimed water is highly treated effluent. 
The government is currently investigating the use of reclaimed water in Hong Kong through two pilot schemes. Reclaimed water promises to reduce the consumption of drinking water and lower water pollution levels in rivers and the sea. The benefits to you will be a cleaner ecosystem and more sustainable development in the years to come. Humans are not the master of the earth. Whatever we do with this world, we do it for ourselves. Therefore, we need to protect our environment. Science cannot